I know, can you believe this? Okay, it's Southern California, the weather, okay, let's just say. You think you only get snow in the Midwest and the East? Well, we do have snow in the foothills. It's really extremely cold here, which is why I'm still in a bathroom because there's not a whole lot of insulation because we're over here by the beach and we don't use heaters that often, so which means it's freezing other times. Oh, wait a minute, what happened to news? Well, see, part of it is, is what, we're in the holiday weekend, it's between Christmas and New Year's, and there's not a whole lot of news coming out. Although, the president is trying to get those, what, those Republicans to come to his side. All. So, what was that? So you can benefit. Oh, yes. Anyway, we're going to bring old Kim up with comments on the headlines of today. It's getting into the 30s now. I know. No, we're not talking about the Midwest. We're talking about outside. We're in Southern California at the beach. And it's that cold here. Yeah. It's free. It's just getting close to where it might actually snow uh, a little bit in the city of Los Angeles. And that's something. Actually, that would be remarkable. Yeah. It I wouldn't be to... much of a snowfall because it's not cold enough for it to stick, but it could. It is if you look carefully outside right now. You go out in it, you know that you're getting sleet. And... So oh, sleet, sleet doesn't comes. take much to become snow. Which means if it rains tonight, we actually could have snow. Yep. Mm -hmm. And it's all over for the Republicans. Now, if you listen to the newspapers, I mean, the newspapers, the tell, uh, uh, they, even the Republicans we, press is saying the same thing, that they're in total disarray. The president is now telling them what they can do and what they can't do. And, and he, you know, the president called, he had a conference call to the CEOs yesterday that he knows to support him to say that we need to have our taxes raised. Mm -hmm. The unfortunate problem is, is everyone he's talking to, uh, well, we can't, raise, we can't raise taxes on General Electric because if we raise taxes on General Electric, it will cost millions of people on jobs. We can't raise on the on Berkshire Hathaway because it will damage the economy. Everybody that he called basically hasn't paid taxes or would get exemptions under Obama's rules so because they're too important to that. You know, yeah, the, and what about the regular person on the, the yeah. The little guy that has the kiosk at the shopping mall, he's not important. Mm -hmm. But uh, Abrams and and uh, Buffett and those people, they're all important. They're more so they don't get their taxes raised, just a little businessman. And ex US President George H. W. Bush is in intensive care. Oh, I know, you know, he's he's dying. It's simply that's that's simple. It just um you know, it's at that age where uh, it, there happens to be like a, when you get over 80 for some reason, whatever kept you from getting sick, it basically simply vanishes. And I'm guessing it's because they change what they're doing. And I know actors that were active all their life and decided to not do it anymore and ended up dying within about a year of them not working, not exercising, all this stuff. Well, you know, they have said before the statistics that after uh, the, and I've usually heard him in conjunction with men that after a man retires, yeah. he usually dies within a year or two. I know, and that's the, the, I begin to think of it. I look at all of the actors in the industry that are dying. Almost, they have two things in common. One is the fact they're over 80, and two is the fact that they haven't worked in a while. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're doing. They've gotten old. They've gotten heavy, and they're you know. It's the, so what came first, right? Not yeah. working, or the age, or? Uh, well, I mean, the age comes first, but the, but the fact that they stop working when you, okay, let's put it this way. Uh, uh, I, 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 uh, Kurt Douglas is the perfect example. Kurt Douglas has not stopped doing anything because he had a stroke. He just worked away and figured out how to work with it. Now he does, he can do Shakespeare, uh, right, you know, to be or not to be, that is the question. He, but he slutters when he speaks, but he's never stopped working. If anything, he's increased his work level. He looks better than his son, Michael. Oh, he does? Oh, Michael looks like Michael is dead. Ooh. So, I mean, his, you know, he did not recover well from cancer. Ooh. And U.S. retailers scramble after lackluster holiday sales. Well, no, the President of the United States said that there was a great holiday. They put all these things out, 14% growth, and then it turns out they had seven-tenths of a percent growth which is a disaster, and then the fact that they had all of these things that you're only going to be able to get this merchandise for this price now and not after Christmas. So what's happening is a lot of stores are discounting 
up that price by as much as two thirds because they thought they were going to be hot. They weren't. So guess what's happening with litigation now? Mm -hmm. They want. But that's always been the case after Christmas. Ah, but this time they weren't price matching. Ah. Uh -huh. They basically these companies said we're not going to match <laughs> our before Christmas prices after Christmas, and now they're discounting them massively. So all the people that bought into the fact. We're not going to discount this after Christmas. Is now wanting their discount. Oh, interesting. Because I know one of the things that they don't match, they don't match Black Friday pricing. But uh, what what they did was they did extended pricing over the weekend. Yeah. Right. But they. Uh, the, but this was after This was they sell after Black Friday. After Black Friday. When yeah. they told you we're not going to reduce our prices anymore, we guarantee that we will not reduce our prices after Christmas, so you need to buy it now and then as much as two-thirds discount now. Mm -hmm. And woman set on fire in L.A. as she sleeps on the beach. I know, that's sort of re I mean, somebody must not have liked somebody because you, that had to be... I mean, I've never even heard of... That, okay, the woman, would, the woman would go there every day so they knew that she basically hung out there uh, waiting for the bus, so what happened was somebody targeted her. That's just sad. I know. That's what happens if you don't like somebody. That's called when you, when you dump gasoline on somebody. It, it's basically you're trying to send a message. Yeah, man pushed to death in front of the New York City subway train. I know. Oh, uh, you know what Flea says? They're going to have to stop. They're going to have to put new legislation in for subway trains because this is multiple deaths by subway train, and unfortunately, subway trains are becoming as dangerous as handguns. So very soon you're not going to be able to ride subways because the Democrats are going to split legislation out to prevent people from being killed. Oh gosh. Yeah, pretty soon they'll lock everybody up in their homes so they won't get killed by being out of their homes. No, but they won't be able to drive because Obama, in order to, uh, he, he's going to turn our country green no matter what. They've now, they said by, by uh, presidential executive order, he can order that you have Transponders put on every every automobile in the country so that they can charge you a tax for driving more than what he thinks you should drive. Yeah. And that, you know, they put, he said that will help build. Said the Republicans are responsible for this because they won't provide the money that he wants to spend another another trillion dollars for road work and stuff for unions, and that ain't gonna happen. And the ACLU is already on his butts over the tracking devices. Yeah, because you know what that does. Well, I mean, he's, he's, okay, uh, he, he, everything that they say is bad about a Democrat is wrapped up in this president. And, and we're going to, okay, you know what Flea Obama says? He said the President of the United States did not win the majority of the vote. He won the majority of the people that voted. There is a difference. You know, only 37% of the people voted, and he won a majority of them. And it just happened that he actually got 11% less votes this time than he did the other time, but uh, and and ended up with a better percentage because of the fact that less people voted. And after Jackson, EPA faces big decisions on U.S. fracking boom. What, oh, yeah, the, what uh, fracking? Okay, they want. Okay, they can. Uh, they have um, petroleum stuck in rock, and they want to crack the rock to get the petroleum out. Democrats don't want it done. This is what a movie. Uh, that basically that um, Matt Damon is pushing heavily. Oh, the fr Promised Land movie? Yeah, and they said that that's basically not going over well because a lot of Democrats are in states where they have tremendous uh, oil shell, and it's just, it just sets there. I mean, you, you, you basically, to separate the oil, there's no drilling, there's just ordinary mining. You sit there and she separate it, and then you put the rocks back in place again. It's not, it's not a polluter thing, but they... Uh, the, the, the environmentalists don't want it done because they want to force you out of petroleum. And they figured since we probably have the, enough oil and shell to last for a zillion years, that basically keeps you on the petroleum pit. And Hillary Clinton to return to work next week. Yeah, and they're basically getting ready to teach Obama a lesson. Republicans are not going to allow Kerry to get even come to the floor for a nomination for Secretary of State until she testifies, so, and they said that Obama doesn't want her to testify because she wants to run for president, which means if they catch her in a lie, she's going to have to come out and tell you who did what and why and when.
Oh, which is exactly what they don't want to have. That's and right. Florida man pleads guilty in New York in dinosaur dispute. Oh, it's got to do with who owned a dinosaur. I, you know, for, a dinosaur was found on federal land, but there's a difference between federal land and Indian controlled land. He's a member. He's, a, he's an American Indian. You know, he dug up the thing on Indian land, and they basically are, have been penalizing him for years. It's, Oh. And finally, he just pled guilty to stop the litigation, and the government took the dinosaur and then sold it for tens of millions of dollars. <laughs> They're crooks. That's all they are. And a Monty bubbleism for the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, okay. Um, he, uh, this one just said, just because it's supposed to work doesn't mean it will work. 